The Leaders Circle of Indiana County is preparing for its annual event to celebrate some of the great volunteers all around our county, and we have two of them in the studio with us this morning, as a matter of fact. Let's meet uh, Casey Newell and Maddie Sabo. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. Good to have you both with us. Madison, we've had you in a lot before, but this is our first time with Casey. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> um, you exciting. were both nominees for Young Athena, correct? Correct. Yes. All right. Well, let's meet you, and we'll start with you, Madison, since you're in my line of sight. All right. Uh, uh, <laughs> What is the organization which, uh, with which uh, you are affiliated, and who nominated you? Yeah, so um, Quota International of Indiana nominated me. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm currently president of that organization. Yeah, yeah. And, and I, did, did Jen Myers not come in to talk about Quota as well? She because, did, yeah. Because she is also a nominee this year. She's for Athena Award. You're for Young Athena Award. Right. Yeah. Um, so it gives us a chance to uh, talk about um, Quota Club again. Casey, I'm going to assume you're not Quota Club. <laughs> I am not. Okay. <laughs> because I don't want to steal away your thunder uh, and take every, and, and have Maddie say it all. Uh, but let's talk about your work with Quota Club and what Quota Club does here in Indiana County. Yeah, so um, Quota focuses on disadvantaged women and children and then speech and hearing. Mm-hmm. Um, we do a lot of work with other organizations in town, whether that's um, making donations or volunteering for them um, mm. and different work for them. I think um, Jen the other day was talking about that, and, and that was one of the big things that I caught from what she said, too, is the way that you collaborate with other groups. Mm-hmm. It's pretty important, isn't it? Is. It is, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Especially when you realize how many of them there are. Yes, Wow. So how many years have you been associated with Quota Club? I've been in Quota five years. Five years? Yeah. Yeah. What brought you to it? Um, actually, someone not, um, invited me to a meeting. Uh-huh. And from then, I just got to meet some pretty amazing women in the organization mm-hmm. and um, continued to get more involved and active in the club. Yeah. And one of the things about Quota Club is it's not just local. It's very local with the Indiana chapter, but, mm-hmm. uh, but it's an international organization. It is. Yeah. 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 So that's, that's pretty exciting to be able to work with an international organization and to bring it down to the local level. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Terrific. All right, Casey, let's talk to you a little bit. Yes. So it's not quota club for you. It isn't quota. I, can't, <laughs> though I do know Madison. i got to move this out of the way because <laughs> Um, I was nominated by Indiana Women's Flag Football League, and uh, one of our players, Jackie Montgomery, nominated mm-hmm. me. Oh, Jackie's um, in. Uh, she's in the. She's a player. Yes, yeah, she. Uh, is. I would guess that Jackie would be when <laughs> you get right down to it. She's a player. I'm one of the founders of the league, and I'm I'm running it currently as president. Uh huh. So. so tell us about the league because it's it's. I think it's one of those under the radar things not a lot of people know about, but it you'd is. love for it's them growing, to know about it's it. It's growing. Uh, we've been. Um, since 2015 is when we started. We started mm-hmm. with 36 players, four teams, and this last year we had 10 teams and 130 players. Wow. Yeah. Wow, and, that's a uh, lot. It how is. Many, how many, is it traditional football 11-player teams? or do you... we, No, it's flag football. We started with five-on-five five teams, um, transitioned to seven-on-seven. Seven. Mm-hmm. Um, but screen, flag football, not supposed to be much contact, but... Uh, it is flag. But. Yeah. There's contact. Yeah, there's. <laughs> a little contact, yeah. Um, one of the, the interesting things about it to me is when I do hear about the, the league, I automatically think, okay, have I covered this when, when, have I covered this young lady, this girl, when she was in high school playing other sports? <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I would guess that there are a whole bunch of former high school athletes from around our area who are on the teams. Um, quite a bit. Our our league starts at 21, mm-hmm. um, so we have a wide variety of ages. Our, our average age would probably be in 30s, mid 30s. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Our, I think our oldest player is 60. You've got a 60 year old player. Yes. How about that? How about that? <laughs> she does a lot of blocking. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> well, that that's perfectly fine. So the teams play when. We play Thursday nights in the summer, uh, um, and then we also started doing like one day tournaments. Uh-huh. So we've got Turkey Bowl coming up in November, okay. and any woman can play. You don't have to be like mm. on a team in the league. You can just sign up and show up, and we do a one day tournament. Yeah, where do you play? We play at Mac Park. At Mac Park. Yeah, we play right um, in the grandstand area. Uh huh. Yeah, and they've been supportive since the beginning. So we played there since 2015. Yeah. Okay. So you went to school where? Uh, I'm from Michigan. You're actually. from Michigan? Yeah. So I've only been here for six years. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so 
Uh, it sounds like you have a, a blast playing that. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's our problem is that everybody comes back and we don't have room for new people. So we always uh, have to grow. Oh, yeah. yeah. You keep growing teams. We do. That's a good problem to have. It is it? a good problem to have. Yeah. And, and, and the benefits of, of playing football, uh, especially uh, as you're getting up into your 30s and you're a woman uh, and, and maybe you've uh, got family considerations and everything else, is the kind of shape you have to be in to play it. Yeah, I mean, people are in a variety of shapes, I would say. Uh-huh. Uh, some people um, really go for it. You know, they're jumping and diving for balls, and some just take it easy yeah. and are, are there for the beer afterwards. So <laughs> it's a it's a beer league, realistically, but yeah. it's, people take it very seriously, and um, we've become like quite a bit of a family, very tight-knit group at this yeah. point. You name MVPs and, and Rookies of the Year and all of those things? Uh, we used to, but at this point, it's so big that there's a lot of people that don't know each other. Yeah. Um, but we have a big championship game, uh-huh. um, so they get all their awards. So how do people learn about the league? Facebook, I would um, assume? Facebook, Instagram. We have a website, um, uh-huh. IndianaWomensFlagFootball.com. IndianaWomensFlagFootball.com. Yes. Cool, cool. And what team do you play for? Um, I was in Silver Sirens this last year, but I'm a cherry bomb from the beginning. Oh, yeah. yeah. A cherry bomb. Cherry bombs. Playing what position? Uh, quarterback and defensive center. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so much fun. So much Maddie's fun. a quarterback as well. Have, are you in the league? I am in the league, yeah. You're a QB. Who can throw the ball further? Oh, I don't know. We, we don't do tests. Let's not. Let's not <laughs> yeah. <about> <laughs> <laughs> I would say Maddie. She's got a good arm. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Lefty or righty? Right. Oh, yeah? You yeah. got you the right-handed spin, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so can you whip it downfield? Yeah, oh, decent, yeah. decent length. Oh, yeah. definitely. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so much fun. You should fun. come to a game. That's so much fun. If only I had known. When's the turkey? What's <laughs> it's the turkey bowl? Turkey bowl is November 16th. November it's a Saturday. 16th. Yeah, we play. We start at 11, and it's a double elimination tournament. But cool. those are our regular teams. We just pick the teams at random. Uh-huh. So you just... You show up and you play. You figured it out. On the, oh, cool. On the field. <laughs> yeah. That sounds like so much fun. So much fun. Uh, and, and I'm glad that you're, that you're both players. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Maddie, who's the faster runner? I'm trying to, trying to, oh, trying not trying me. to, trying to get the two of you <laughs> going at each other. That. We're the two slowest. So, <laughs> I mean, it's really hard to say. <laughs> okay. So Leaders Circle Awards and, and what you do. Um, tell me about uh, learning that you've been nominated. Um, well, Jackie mentioned that she was going to nominate me. Um, I was surprised to be chosen because I know it's, it's often, um, you know, larger groups that are more established. So Mm -hmm. it was, uh, it's just exciting to be able to shine a spotlight on the league and show what we do. And, yeah. And so that was exciting to me to know that it's being acknowledged and people can hear about the league. Absolutely. Uh, and Madison, uh, uh, when did you, when you learned that you had been nominated, um, what did you think? What was your reaction? Um, I was very honored. I mean, I'm, I feel I'm pretty lucky to be a part of Quota and Flag Football League, um, both organizations with some pretty amazing women. So for them to select me, I was, I was excited. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we're glad to meet both of you and to be able to talk with you about Leaders Circle. The event is coming up on uh, the, September the 26th. It's going to be at the Rustic Lodge this year. And you can get your advance registrations uh, by uh, getting them in no later than September the 21st. What is today? 13th. 13th. So uh, a week and a day. Um, so September 21st is the deadline for you to get it in. And you can go to IndianaCountyLeadersCircle.com. Are there any other ways that folks can get tickets, or is that the best way? Um, I believe contacting Carol Fry, she's in charge, or, or anyone on the, the nominating committee. Okay. Very good. Very good. So it's at 6 o'clock, and, uh, well, we, we know that it's such a great event and that people enjoy it so much, and we're glad that you guys are going to be a part of it. Thanks for coming in today. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate it. It is the voice of Indiana County, WCCS, AM 1160, and 